This is the first ever made you look do-it-yourself costume tutorial. I first purchased a regular top hat. Now this whole top hat is kind of like fuzzy. It's not plastic at all. I then cut off the ribbon from around the hat because we don't really need that right now, but we're gonna use it again later. To paint the hat, I'm using Craftsmart brown acrylic paint, golden brown acrylic paint, and then also a metallic gold. Pour some of those out onto a paper plate. I'm playing it backwards because it looks really boring going forward. I'm sure you guys know how to pour things. I'm then crumpling up a little piece of paper towel, which is the same technique that I used in my steampunk makeup tutorial, and dipping it in the paint but kind of blobbing off all the excess on the towel. I'm starting off with gold because I want the hat to be a little bit more shiny, and I'm just blobbing it all over the hat. It can be a little bit more difficult to get it between the like rim of the hat and the actual hat itself, but you can press in there and it'll be fine. Now it's up to you how much you actually want to like layer the paint on the hat. I'm then taking the brown paint and going in between the little patches in the gold paint. Once you have this applied, it kind of looks more bronze or copper. To give the hat a little bit more of a metal look, I'm then just going around the rim of it with that gold paint that we started with. I'm setting that aside and then I'm using another top hat that I just happen to have from my other projects. And I'm measuring out the size of the outside of the clock and the inside of the clock. I happen to find that I wanted to use my Tigger glass and the top of a water bottle. I'm also checking the top of the water bottle inside the Tigger glass to see the size of the clock as opposed to the rim of the clock. I'm then taking some old looking paper with some words on it that I purchased at the craft store and obviously tracing around the larger circle. Cut that out, and if you are younger, make sure you have your parents help you with the scissors part. I'm then taking the smaller circle and tracing it on another piece of paper that I bought at a craft store. It looks a little bit more like sand, and cutting that out. We're then gonna take this tea bag and put it into this glass of warm, not hot, water. Once you dip the tea bag in, wring it out, and then we're going to dab it onto our clock. This is going to give it an old stained effect. Cool, I know. Once that's all dry, which shouldn't really take you too long, I'm then just drawing on the numbers on the clock with a thin Sharpie. I'm starting with 12, 3, 6, and 9, so that way I'm not like messing up the clock and having it look all weird. Where like the numbers don't line up right, you know. Draw some fancy hands, I'm just kind of doing some little circles and fanciness. And if you want to add a little bit of shine to your clock, I'm then taking Craftsmart white acrylic paints as well as light brown, mixing those two together and just doing a little bit of a shine mark around the edge of the clock. To make the rim of the clock a little bit more roughed up, I'm then taking a paper towel with gold paint on it and just dabbing it around the center. It's up to you if you want to glue the clock on or tape the clock on. For right now, I am just taping the clock on. If you want your clock to be thicker than the actual paper, you can cut out a piece of cardboard. I'm just using a piece of cardboard from a shoebox. And I'm then going ahead and covering that in the gold acrylic paint. If you guys wanted to blend in a little bit more with the hat, you can use a dark brown acrylic paint, which I did later. Once that dried, I then used Gorilla Glue to attach everything together. This stuff is really, really strong, so try not to get it on your hands. The rest of the hat is completely decoration. I went to Michael's and I got this chain, as well as these gears that I found in the jewelry section of Michael's, which is are pretty cool. Of course, I'll list all the things that I used in the description below. Don't forget about that ribbon that we cut off the hat earlier, and of course, the clock that we just made. From then on, it's just you being the HGTV of hats and figuring out how you want to design it. When you figure out exactly where you want things, take a little bit of Gorilla Glue, a little bit will go a long way, and glue your stuff down. You don't have to glue the entire thing down, you can just glue down certain spots, Gorilla Glue will hold it down. When gluing things down, I'm actually using the back of one of the packages for the gears to press it down, because really try not to get Gorilla Glue on your fingers, it is very hard to get off.
You can reuse the ribbon that you originally cut off the hat and place it into a bow if you would like and also put it back on the hat just to make it look nice. If you guys are interested in purchasing the hat that I just made in this tutorial and I also wore it in my steampunk tutorial, you guys can find it for sale on MadeYouLookByLex.com. There's only going to be one in the store, so if you see that it is sold out, it has already been sold. Or you can use the tutorial and do it yourself. <laughs>